video is about the last type of bonding, metallic bonding. What happens when a metal bonds with another metal? Let's look at how metallic bonding works. This is what the structure of a metal looks like. So what you've got here is you've got layers of positive metal ions and you've got what we call a sea of delocalized electrons. Delocalized just means that those electrons are free to move throughout the structure. Now, when I'm talking about delocalized electrons, what you might be thinking is which electrons get delocalized. So here is my electronic configuration for sodium uh, 281 in its outer shell. And in terms of which electrons get delocalized, it is just those outer shell electrons. So for sodium, only one electron gets delocalized, not all of them. In terms of what holds this whole structure together, it's really similar to ionic bonding. Because in ionic bonding, you've got positive and negative ions that are attracted through electrostatic attraction. In metallic bonding, you've got positive metal ions and negative delocalized electrons. But they're still attracted together with those strong electrostatic attractions. Now we need to relate that structure to two of the main properties of metals. One, that metals conduct electricity, and two, that metals are malleable. That means that they can be bent into shape. So firstly, let's have a look at why metals conduct electricity. You should know that to conduct electricity, something needs to have either free-moving ions or free-moving electrons. Now, in the case of the metallic structure that we just looked at, we showed the delocalized electrons being free to move. And it's this part that causes metals to be able to conduct electricity because they can; those electrons can carry the current. In terms of it being malleable, the layers of positive metal ions can slide over each other. And it's that ability for those layers to slide over each other that allows the structure to be bent into different shapes and that makes metals super useful. That's all you need to know about the structure of metals and how the structure leads to its properties.